Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you, class? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. How teacher, is teacher? I am going. I am going to be here. Just listen because I am working. Oh, you're working. Yes, I am. Okay. And I need to finish something. Okay. Um. All right, but I, I still I'm still going to need you to um you know have the camera on, and I'm gonna have to um send you to different groups um because the, automatically the group the the Zoom um already sends you like uh, to the different groups. Okay, so just letting you know that it's, it's gonna happen like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Great. No problem. All right. So welcome, class. How are you? Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very good. I'm fine. Teacher. Yeah, you're doing quite well. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. How was your day today? Almost the end of the week. How was your day? It was good, teacher. Yeah? Okay. It, are Fridays um, long days for you guys or are they short days? Long day, I think. Long days? Yeah? Yes. Like, okay. Um, so you work longer on Fridays? You, you work more time? No, I work uh, one hour less. Oh. It's my yeah. short day. Mm -hmm. It's your shorter day, yeah. That's why I was asking because some people work a little bit less on on uh, Fridays. Some people mm -hmm. work more, right? In my case, I work a little bit more on Fridays, but um, <gasps> really, yeah. 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 why is that? Uh, Friday is just um, my long day. Simply like um, oh. the day that I, yeah, I have a a longer shift, but uh, I, you know, I, I get a little bit more um, break time. So that's, that's like the, the perk, let's say, but. Oh, okay. But only that, yeah. Okay. Um, and do you guys, do you have like a, a jean Friday or something like that at work? Like where you can go in jeans to work? <laughs> Eat at home. I if I, I guess I have my pajama day. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. Pajama Friday. <laughs> ah, yeah. No, really. Um, Anna Claudia, do you? Mm -hmm. You are just on the phone, right? You're you're not in front of the. Exactly. I'm just over the phone. Exactly. So you literally can be in pajamas. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like it. Believe me, I need to switch, and I even though I'm in the same space where I sleep in my bedroom, but I uh, need to uh, uh, take a shower, like if I go to the office, uh -huh. because if no, I, I don't think that I'm working. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I understand, you're, you're <laughs> right, yeah. Mm. And you feel differently, you know, if you- Exactly, exactly. Um, they say you have to dress the part. <laughs> yes. Right, yeah, so. You know, whether you like it or not, you kind of have to dress up or mm -hmm. you know, just so that you really feel like you're there. Working. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, who works from home? Anybody else mm -hmm. working from home? Just Ana Claudia? Me, teacher. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I work at the office and on the rest of the week, I work um, at home. Mm, okay. Cool. And uh, do you ever work in, like, being honest, do you ever work in your pajamas? <laughs> uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a, a, a meeting, I have to uh, have a, a, a dress code for the office. Ah, <laughs> but okay. if I don't have a, a serious meeting, I can use a Polo t-shirt or like I guess I have a dress code for 
uh, from the upper side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from here up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting. So, just for meetings, you dress up only for meetings. Yes, normally. Hmm. Normally, but uh, um, the rest of the day, I I have a polo T-shirt or. Uh, more casual uh, clothes. But not your pajamas. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to activate the office mood in my mind. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, good. Good evening, everybody. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay, good. Well, now that uh, we have talked about activating the office mind, let's activate the the, the, um, the English mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. So tell no and, and, and like being serious, what do you do to activate your English mind? Tell me. What do you do like to transition from, you know, whether you're you're coming home from from work, or you're already at home and you're you want to um, get into the into your English class. What do you do? What 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 transition do you do? Nothing. I guess we can't explain. <laughs> Why? We just go one way to the other, but I I, I don't feel like I make a transition. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, do you ever like, first of all, do you have a, like a specific place where you go and take your classes or you're kind of in the middle of everywhere? I got a special place. You have a special place. Okay. So you go there, right? So the going there, sitting down, maybe that's kind of like the, the, um, um, yeah, that's transition. <laughs> Exactly. Let's say I could say that. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we uh, think about it, all of us, I guess, we sit, switch equipment. So not receiving our classes in the same equipment uh, at work, yeah. uh, we switch either to a laptop or tablet or a cell phone. Uh, that, that maybe makes a difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, for me, um, I'll tell you what happens for me. Um, uh, yeah, you're right with the with the equipment, right? I have to set up um, the the camera, um, and um, then and now you guys probably have noticed that we have our you have a background. Yes, wow. have a background. Mm -hmm. so, is that a physical background or is it just uh, in the computer? <laughs> oh no, no, it's not. It's not a physical a picture. Background. Ah, okay. But I do have to kind of set it up. Because the thing uh, that um, in order to get this background, I have to make sure that my background is green. Uh, if the background is not green, it will not show up well. That you know, you okay. and the camera also have to put in a, a certain setup. That's why at the first class, mm -hmm. I remember I was like, oh, I'm having problems with my camera. You guys remember that? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what I do, I actually have a backdrop. I have a backdrop and it's green. So mm -hmm. I have to set up the background, the backdrop. And so that that I can that they can show correctly. Otherwise it won't show. But you had to paint the, your wall green or, or no no I have no, no no it's a it's a backdrop. It's it's the it. tela con oh. physicamente, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. Like the ones used in televisions. <laughs> yeah, so my background uh -huh. literally is green. Um, and that's how I get this effect. Because if it was a different color, it would probably not work so well. So it has to it has to be green. It's something you need to unfold. Uh, I mean, unfold. Oh, really? Uh, oh. <laughs> I have a tripod, too. I have a tripod. And um, the thing, it, like, it has a technique to fold. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So wow. that's my transition uh, from, you know. Maybe we can say, so you're making the transition half an hour before the class starts. Mm, well, no, no, not that much. Um, but um, 
but yes, I mean, I do. And, and then also I have uh, certain things I have to open on the computer, like the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. I also have um, the window open with the, um, what's it called? With the list for the attendance. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and I also have, uh, I open up the, the platform so that mm -hmm. um, you, you guys have any questions about it, I can quickly refer to it. Right. Mm. So you have open different tabs, different screens. Okay. I have different tabs open. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, that kind of helps me a bit. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. So those are the things I do. That kind of helps for my transition. Mm. Yeah. My transition is make sure that I take uh, dinner first before the. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That that is a very. Ah uh, yes. That's very. Yes. Good. Do you guys have or, before or after class? Or duty. <laughs> or yeah. Well, we we know Yvonne sometimes has during the class. <laughs> and so, um, guys, what do you do? What do you do? You eat before or after? Haiti. I eat before the church. Before. Yes, because at the end of the class, I'm sleepy, so I go directly to the bed. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I go to bed very, very, very late because I have to um, I have to finish off the conversion of the, of the video. Uh, so. so actually, I most of the time, I eat after the class, unfortunately. I, because I, I rarely have time at the, um, before the class. It's very rare. And I guess as it's two hours video, it maybe takes a, a long time to upload. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's life. Anyway, guys, um, let's start with what we normally do, which is our, mm -hmm. um, uh, our list, our attendances, okay? So let's begin with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. And what about Habit? No? Okay. And what about Andres? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Andres. Uh, Dennis Orlando? No, right? Okay. Edgar? Mm, Ed, sorry, Edgar uh, Menjivar. No. Okay. Uh, Edith, Jorleni, no. uh, Irvin. Present teacher, present. All right, welcome, Irvin. Thank you, teacher. Fabiola, no, okay. Heidi? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Heidi. Uh, Irene? Present teacher. All right, welcome. Ivan? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Ivan. Thanks, teacher. Josue. No. Josue, no. Okay. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Jury? Present teacher. Okay. Luis? Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Wendy? Wendy? No? Okay. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Oh, you literally just connected, didn't you, Werner? <laughs> I was like, Werner, and boop, he came up. <laughs> That's that's one like, computer only. <laughs> perfect timing. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, Yvonne. Present. All right. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Edgar Enriquez. Nope. Edgar, no. Okay. Um, and Elizabeth. Eli? No? Okay, Jose, Jose Montes. Present. All right, welcome. And Jose Ayala. 
No. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to repeat the names of the people I didn't hear. I didn't hear Javi or Dennis Orlando or Edgar Menjivar or Edith um, Turleni or Fabiola. I didn't hear Josue. I hear teacher. Oh, okay. Hey, there you go. Welcome, Josue. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear Manuel Alejandro or Wendy or Edgar Enriquez or El Eli or Jose Ayala. Right? Okay. Wow, we're missing quite a lot. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to begin um, with uh, our PowerPoint. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Now, I can see it. You can see it? Yes. yes. All right, wonderful. So, intermediate module one, sorry, yes, module one, is unit two. You don't mute, teacher. Yeah, I just noticed that. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try that again. So this is intermediate, module one, unit two. We continue on unit two procedures. The date is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. And the day is number 12. Um, so we are almost like in the middle of the class, of the, uh, of the course, better say. Of the course. The course, yeah, because the course is 25 classes and we're on day 12. So we're almost like at half of it, the class, or the course, better said. And your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero. Teacher, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I have a, a, a question, it's a curiosity. So for yesterday, it was July 21st. That is the correct way to say it? That's right, yes. Ah, okay, 21st. Okay. Yes. We have we had that doubt with Andres <laughs> yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, Oh yeah, uh, so yeah, so all of the ones that go after with the one, you would say first, right? So twenty first, thirty first, right? Um, yeah, up to there because there's. It's no the best problem. way, not, not only to say you like twenty one, <laughs> you like twenty first. No, 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 twenty second. It, it's it's actually the way that you say it. You cannot say it any other way. So ah, okay. even though in even though in English we don't need to write the nd but we have to pronounce uh -huh. it okay oh, okay so, so i i have the option of writing this if i can do this mm -hmm. right I, mm -hmm. I could do it like this if i want but i don't have to write it but what i do have to do is pronounce it pronounce it uh, when, okay yeah. so the pronunciation is always going to be 22nd we can never say july 22 it's That's not possible mm -hmm. And when it's a ordinal number, for example, the decimal segundo. The decimal. Yeah, all of all. Okay, all of the calendar is said with um, ordinal numbers. All of it. No. Okay. So it's it's all it's like July first, July second, July third, July fourth, July fifth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, July twentieth, July twenty first. July 22nd, July 23rd, July 24th, and so on. Okay. All okay. of the calendar. Okay. So that's the only way you can do it in English. Okay. Like I ah, said, okay. in pronunciation, it's always like that. In spelling, we can decide either we write it like this or we just do it like that, but we're going to have to pronounce it. Now, that's different from in Spanish, right? Because actually mm -hmm. in Spanish, I hear people saying, hey, for example, el, hoy es el primero de julio, mm -hmm. which really, if you think about it, is incorrect. Because if you say primero de julio, that would also mean that you have to say segundo de julio, tercero de julio, cuarto de julio, 
quinto de julio, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and today would be uh, décimo segundo, no. Décimo segundo, vigésimo no. segundo sería. Vigésimo segundo, right? Which is, <laughs> which, no, right? I mean, in, English, in Spanish, you don't say that. So it's different. It's different from, from English. In English, we have to use ordinal numbers. In Spanish, oh. we should not use ordinal numbers. Okay. Okay? We use cardinal okay. numbers. Cardinal. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So that's pretty clear, right? Or do you, have, do you still have any questions? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't know, Andres. Not sure it's clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to be looking at the vocabulary here. So we have, oh, yeah, my goodness. Create original sentences using the following words. Join your assigned breakout room, work in small groups, share your sentences with your classmates. So yesterday we learned some vocabulary. Remember these words? Setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a shift change. Follow in the schedule, address in kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers, tips and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. Remember that? We were organizing the contents in the service exactly. training manual. Mm -hmm, exactly. Now, since you guys were organizing it, then you should know what these words mean, right? Yeah. Any questions about the meaning of these words? The sure. And the second one, the, uh, what is the correct pronunciation? This one? Yes. The canteen. And what does it mean? Um, it means when you are going to pour liquid from one content, from one, better said, from one container to another container, but you do it very, very slowly, so that you do not, um, you you do not um, disturb the sediment. So you just very, very lightly, like okay, think of it like this. Maybe it'll be easier for you to uh, imagine it with with soda. Okay, so if you're going to be pouring soda from one container to another container and you just go psh, like that, what's going to happen? Your soda is going to overflow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you do it very, very slowly, you know, you start pouring little by little, little by little, by little by little, then you don't disturb the, the, um, the soda and it will be good. So the same thing happens kind of with the wine. You don't want to disturb the wine. Yeah, not because it's going to overflow, but because uh, you know, it, it um, disturbs the sediment of the, of the wine. So instead, you want to do it very, very slowly. And that means decanting. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. OK, any other words that you're not clear about? Addressing kitchen and addressing customer is not very clear for me, teacher. Okay. Addressing means that it's the way you talk to someone, the way you uh, manage a, first, uh, a problem or um, the way that, yeah. Um, the way that you can try to solve something that's addressing the way you address something. Okay, so dressing means to talk about something that's maybe um, sensitive, or, um, you know, the way you, um, you know, the, the like the intonation that you use all of that. Okay. Um, how do you say addressing in Spanish? Uh, no idea. Es que es como la manera de dirigirse a alguien. 
Uh -huh. Quizás yo lo relacionaba más como con la dirección de algo, como dirección. No, 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, so it means the way that you talk to them, the way that you um, make, like the, the, yeah, the way you talk to them, including your intonation and the type of words that you use. And now this also. Now it's clear. To Thanks, provide teacher. instructions, teacher? Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can also use it to provide instructions. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, you obviously, everybody obviously has like a, a supervisor in the, in, in, in your line of work, right? So um, the way your supervisor addresses you, it make, can make you feel good about a job or it can make you feel like, okay, I'm, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to listen to him or anything. So that, so addressing kind of, yeah, talks also about um, how you, um, how you greet the person and how you make them feel. Okay. So how do you say addressing in this context? Okay, it's very clear now. Thanks, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. So how would you say that in Spanish? Address it in this context. Hablar de forma cordial, quizá. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Hablar cordialmente o hablar adecuadamente a las personas. Yeah, right, but there's a word for it. ¿Cómo dirigirse al personal de cocina? Dirigirse. ¿Ah? Dirigirse o mm -hmm. abordar. Uh -huh. Abordar. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, why that is important? Well, think about your 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 um, supervisor or your superior. There there are times where they're going to have to talk to you directly. How they talk to you will determine how you feel. And how you feel will determine how well you do in your work. Right. If you feel motivated, you're, you know, you're going to want to uh, continue working and making changes and, you know, but if you, if the person, your superior is not a person that is addressing the, you know, the, the personnel correctly, you might feel demotivated. That's mm -hmm. why it's important. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Okay. Could you please, mm -hmm. could you please um, provide us an example how to create original uh, sentence using this kind of uh, vocabulary? Yeah. Because sure. because I am a, I'm a little confused. Uh, I don't uh, I do not have to to use the sentences. Uh, I don't I don't know have to use it uh, because uh, are we going to use a wood, wood better too or, or I don't know. So you can choose, um, well, you're going to choose each one, well, you're better than not choose. You're going to um, go one by one, right? Um, obviously don't, you know, copy my sentence, but. Uh, but this is a, an idea. It could be, for example, um, on Fridays, our dress code is um, semi informal. Informal jeans. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there you're using the word dress code. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are 
<clears throat> there are 10, 10 words. Exactly. Ten, okay, you yes. need a 10, you need 10, ten, ten sentences, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you some time right now to make the sentences. So this is individual, right? Okay. Yes, for the time being, we're working individually. Okay. okay. You guys can go ahead and ask any other questions that you have too. How are you guys doing? Are you having trouble with the one in particular? So far, so good, teacher.
Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we ready? Or do you need more time? Yes, more time, please. More time? More time. Okay. Two hours more. <laughs> In two hours, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Las ninfas flotan o nenúfar flota en el agua. También. Ok, guajen. ¿Las la consonantes iguales te debo o no? Okay, do you guys need more time? I think I've given you quite a bit of time, right? Yeah? Okay, so we're going to now, like it says here, we're gonna be share, we're gonna be working in the small groups and then you're gonna share your sentences with your classmates, okay? So um, I'm going to get you to work in breakout rooms and I will probably assign <clears throat> um let's see oh it's signed for per no i think that's too many yeah i uh, will i will make um groups of three or four and we're going to be sharing. Okay. So here we go. Let's open up. Is the microphone is in other place. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Um, in my case, uh, well, this example of me is uh, uh, the number one is uh, the waiter is setting a table. Uh, the number two, the bank terder is uh, the current wind, winning. Uh, number three is I am request, requesting a shift change for today. Um, number four, uh, the employees are follow, following the student's responsibility. Uh, number five, the manager is address personal very keen. Uh, Could you repeat the last one, Warner? Repeat, uh, the number five teacher for number five is for um you said. okay the manager is uh, other signs personal very keen kind kind other sign kind. sign mm -hmm. exactly Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, Julia and you? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't do, but I, uh, <laughs> I just I'm going to. I'm going to copy all that you do. <laughs> hey, sorry, I am working. I, maybe you didn't work, you didn't <laughs> at the class when I saw, I told the teacher that I am working and I need to finish something. <laughs> when I finish, I'm going to continue with the class. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, Jerry. Um, uh, are you going to be like that the whole class or just for a little bit? Uh, depends. I, if the, everything was so good, I am going to be at the class maybe uh another and a half hour oh okay okay that's fine okay okay thank you teacher mm -hmm. okay i to the other other co-workers for example how about the one that with the customer address customer mm -hmm. yes uh, um, for example, in our company, for the customer service executive, uh, that is very important uh, to know how to address into the customer, uh, especially when they need to uh, information or when they are hungry. hungry. Mm -hmm. is that, is, is that... What? Hello? Could you repeat that when they are, especially angry. when they are? When they are angry. Okay, and yeah, angry. that's why I wanted to know if it was angry or hungry. No, angry, I, I, okay. angry in your case, because I was I uh, thinking hungry, about, teacher. <laughs> uh, about the restaurant. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's I'm what both, I'm asking because it could apply to uh, me, right? Yes. Yeah, you just have to be careful, right? So, yeah, because... Um, <laughs> Many students confuse those two words. That's why I was asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. And I think uh, I think I understand the meaning of addressing addressing kitchens personnel and the other one, but I'm not sure about the usage of the expression. Can you tell us a sentence, teacher, with the with the expression? Which one? Addressing, addressing. personnel. Addressing is Think of the word uh, abordar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo uno aborda o cómo uno se dirige hacia el personal? Mm -hmm. yeah? So addressing is dirigiéndose al personal. Mm -hmm. Or just simply dirigiéndose hacia alguien. 
Or you can also say, for example, I want to address a problem. I want to address the problem means um, quiero abordar un problema. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have another question or doubt? Um, the, the manager is addressing personal very kindly. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. the I have one uh, the chef the, the chef must address kitchen personal in order to have the dinner on time. Cool, excellent. Next in my in my case, the customer want to get to know the menu always. Okay, same. And waiters and waiter. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. We have the the new server is getting to know the menu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dress code. I didn't do it because the teacher did. Mm, addressing customer. Um, okay, the, you, can, you can come up with your own idea for dress code, no problem. Okay, okay, it's excellent. Um, have, the I servers have, have, have their, their own dress code for weekdays. Hello. Hello, Miss Jessica. Uh, Wendy and Erwin have a problem with uh, connection. Oh, okay. Um, Irvin is coming back to the room. Yeah, yeah. Right, right now, I'm, I'm bringing him back to the room. And I know Wendy's having problems as well. Wendy, is it possible for you to open the microphone? I guess not. Irvin? Oh. Teacher, I have a problem. I can listen. Yeah. I listen so slowly. <clears throat> Did you restart the modem or the computer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Two things. Okay, um, turn off your, com your, your camera. Maybe that helps. Turn off the camera. Miss Jessica, uh, Wendy writes that he doesn't uh, um, enter in his moment and she doesn't have a camera and micro for oh. the internet. Okay, okay, no problem. <clears throat> so, but Wendy, you can hear us, right? Okay, good. Um, can you open up the microphone? The microphone or the, the camera? Porque dice que le sale sombreado. ¿A qué se refiere? The microphone or the camera?
Okay, that's weird. All right. Okay, hopefully when we are in the main room, I will be better. Um, Erwin, can you still hear us well? I don't think so. <laughs> I think, no. No, okay. So this is going to, Erwin, can you hear us? I will turn off the computer and restart. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, Erwin. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Okay, we're yeah. going to go back to the main room anyways. Okay, so I'll see you okay. guys over there. Teacher is here now. Behave, all of you. <laughs> yes, because if not, <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. So, guys, I I'm hoping everybody had enough opportunity to do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> um. Okay, um, so yesterday, oh, well, actually, no, before we continue, um, I want to hear some of your sentences. So how about, <clears throat> how about if Josue, um, you can share um, some sentences, because I know that you didn't have the opportunity before. So how about if you share it with the class? Uh, sentences about the uh, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, uh, is setting a table is uh, please setting a table in a jar for the for the dinner. Um, uh, second one is industrious la constancia. Use the counting one to have a better result. Um, another one is uh, I have a dating on Sunday. I'm going to requesting a chief for this day, uh, following the schedule for being to prepare to start the journey. The chef is addressing kitchen personnel. A new employee start with getting to know the menu, servers in a restaurant addressing customer to the reserve table. And that's it. Okay. I, uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, what what did you say about Saturday? It's about um, requesting a chief for this day. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Let me give you one of these. All right, very good, excellent. All right, how about if we hear Javit? Good evening. Good evening. And, and sorry, teacher, I don't understand uh, very well what uh, needs to do because I entered the class at tarde. But I understand is uh, create a sentence using that phrase that's correct mm -hmm. is, is is the correct okay i i only do four um for example is very important following the schedule for an effective result every day uh the way you addressing customer is the key for create a loyal customers uh, know the prevention of accident and safety normative help to all personnel stay safe for accident 
um and the last one the mem memorable experience start from uh, see the place what is the importance to setting a table i i don't finish this the okay. the paragraph okay very good though very good let me give you one of these Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Javi. Even though you came late, but you, you, um, you did your part. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And one more. Um, let me see. One more. One more. One more. Uh, Warner. Uh, me teacher. Um. And. And first, uh, the waiter is uh, sending a tables. Uh, the van tender is uh, the carrying winner. Um, I am requesting as if change for today's. The employees are following the student's responsibility. Uh, the manager is address science personal very keen. Very what? Very keen. Very what? Kind. You remember? Not keen. Uh, what, was, what did we say was the pronunciation? Uh, can't. No. Kind. Address signs. Signs. Yes, it's kind. Address signs. Address signs. Yes, but the word is kind. Kind, sorry. Yes, kind. Okay. So uh, K I N D, kind. Mm -hmm. Kind. Yeah, very good. Okay, excellent. Very, very good. Let me give you one of these. Excellent. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Excellent, guys. You did a very good job. Now it's a little past uh, four. Uh, sorry, a little past nine. So we're going to go ahead and take attendance. So first of all, we have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. Javid. Present teacher. All right. Andres. Present teacher. All right, Dennis Orlando, Edgar Menjivar. Eh, Edgar Menjivar, no. Okay. Um, all right, uh, we have Edith Di Giorleni, uh, Urban Lagos. Yes, teacher. Um, Katie. Present teacher. Great. Irene. Present teacher. Okay. Ivan. Present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, jury. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Wendy is a Okay, so you really can't, uh, you can't open the microphone at this moment, Wendy, impossible? Does it, it still doesn't give you the option? Hello, teacher. Oh, okay, great, excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Wendy. Okay, Werner? Present teacher. Right, Edgar Enriquez. Uh, 
and it's got other kids. No, right? Uh, Ellie. No. Okay. Uh, Jose. Jose Montes. Present. Okay, great. And Jose Ayala. Teacher, you didn't call me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Yvonne. Present. All right, okay, <laughs> great. Okay, gotcha, got everybody. Okay, so let's, um, okay, so let's continue. Um, Please tell me when you can see PowerPoint. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah. good. All right, so this is the service training manual index. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the content of the service training manual. Organized. Ivan, we hear you. Hi, sorry, man. sorry. <laughs> uh, organize the topic security index of the manual on the right. Uh, then present your index to the class. Explain the reasons for your choice. Um, ha have we already finished this? This is what we were working on yesterday. Have you guys already finished this? Yeah. Yes? Okay, good. All right. Just that we, we just have one little problem. Um, and it's that I don't remember what groups, or better said, I didn't cat, I didn't take the the um the screenshot of the groups. So I don't remember who was with whom, but I'm sure you guys do remember, right? Okay, you guys remember. So we're gonna do it that way. Um, okay, so just literally how you guys appear on my on my screen i'm going to go with the first person and the first person believe it or not that appears on my screen is ana claudia <laughs> it's for the a <laughs> yeah i don't okay. know what it is but you're 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 there you're I, okay i was working with luis okay. with uh habit and with um uh, irene uh-huh irene, uh -huh. irene. okay um, Irene, though, is not here. Yes, yeah, she's there. Oh, sorry, sorry, she's there. Sorry. Yes, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So, I guess uh, you guys can present. I want the three of you to. Um... We are four. Oh. I mean, this... Who else? Javi, Luis, Irene, and me. Javi. Oh, okay. Javi, Javi, Javi. Let me see. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. Okay. Um, just, just give me a second. I, I want to be able to organize everybody else. Okay. So the next one that okay. appears on my list is Ivan. Mm -hmm. Ivan, who are you with? Hola. Sorry. Please repeat. Uh, yesterday, in yesterday's group, who were you working with? I, I feel like Dory from Nemo because my <laughs> memory is <laughs> Were you in class yesterday? Yes. Okay. But... <laughs> Do you remember the end of the... Uh, Dory. <laughs> I work with Juan Francisco. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I remember that. Okay. Maybe who are present, you can't remember the other class. <laughs> okay. So yeah, exactly. Juan Francisco, do you remember anybody else in the group? Uh, yeah, I I think with uh, Jury, uh, Erwin. Jury and Erwin. Yeah. Okay, good. Josue? Do you remember who, who you were with? Is he, he was, really a concentrator? He was working with 
learn it on the meet Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. So Josue, Warner, and Andres, the three of you, right? Just. Okay. Good. All right. And Jose Montes, who are you working with? Uh, you're going to have to open up the microphone. Sorry. It's okay. I was, I was working with Andres and the other person I don't remember. We're not teaching. Okay. So you were working the four of you then, right? So Josue, Warner, Andres, and Jose Montes. No. Uh, no, no. No, I was working with uh, uh, I think that Patricia and Erwin. Jose. I work uh, with, uh, with no, Andres. No, okay. I work with Andres and Fabiola. I don't remember in the form. Maybe Jose. No, it was yesterday. With no. a, 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 Okay. With Andres and Fabiola, I remember very well. That's yes, that. she's asking for yesterday, Jose. Okay, so the teacher is asking. I'll, 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 I'll refresh your memory. <laughs> they yeah. are Doris team. <laughs> so this, is, this is the last activity that we did, the very, very end of the class, uh, right before I said bye to you. Um, I, I got you guys to work in groups and you were do, going to decide what, um, what were the topics of the index. And you were gonna say which ones you thought were going to oh, be third, second, in what order and why. So for that activity, who were you working with? So I'll repeat. Natalie and Ivan. I just remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember too. My memory is bad. <laughs> I Me too. Okay. <laughs> With well, Jose, well, Jose and I, but if yes, and Fabiola, last, I and remember that Fabiola, um, I don't see her Fabiola. the face. Okay. Never turn turn off the camera, but. No, no, no. Yes, yeah. Fabiola. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, no problem. And Yvonne, who were you working uh, with? And I didn't be here oh, yeah. yesterday at the end of the class because I was in problems with my internet be, before the yeah. because the storm. Yeah. I remember you didn't answer at the end. Yes, you're absolutely right. Okay, thank you. Haiti, who are you working with? I didn't come to class yesterday. You were in either in class, okay. Wendy, who are you working with, Wendy? Hello, no teacher. Uh, yesterday, I don't have uh, I don't have it. Uh, internet too. My my modem is that. Okay, so you were not really in class either. Okay, all right. Uh, no. If let's see if I understand correctly, we have. The first group we have is Ana Claudia, Luis, Irene, and Javid. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. The second group I have is Ivan, Juan Francisco, Jerry, and Urban. Right? I guess Ivan was working with... Uh, with me. Natalia. Mm -hmm. Ivan was working with Natalie, Josue, and Jose. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So I... so. So second group Live is on memories. Juan Francisco, Jerry, and Irvin. Yes? Yes, no? Jerry. She goes, Juan uh, Francisco, we, Jerry, and Irvin. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Yes. And next group I have Warner. Andres and Jose. Montes. Jose Montes. Montes. Right? Yes. Yes. Good. The other group I have is Josue, Natalia, 
and I. And Ivan. Yes. Okay. Oh, and Fabiola. And Fabiola, which is who is not here right now. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's begin then. Okay. So um Anna Claudia, Luis, Irene, and Anna have I mean, we are ready to hear you. I want to have everybody talking, okay? Everybody in your group. So go ahead. Hold on, hold on. We didn't finish, Luis. Teacher, Irene, you didn't finish. Teacher, I have a teacher. Uh huh. I have a question. I have okay. I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, uh, our group already finished uh, the index. Okay. Now, now we're going to explain the reason why we create this index. Can you please um give us or provide us an example? about uh, how to create the, the reason because I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, sure. Uh, to give an example. <clears throat> you want uh, to organ that we organize in from one to 10, the right. process, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, okay, so this was, uh, so this is the, the list of words, right? So if you think the first thing, the first um, topic that we need to address in the manual is setting a table, you have mm -hmm. to say, okay. Um, well, we decided that setting the table was the first thing that's important because um, the appearance uh, of um, the first, better said, the first impression that the customer gets when they walk into the, um, into the restaurant could be the decor. And so that includes uh, setting the table and we need to make sure that um, the table looks very nice so that the customer gets a good impression. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Right? So there's really no mm -hmm. right or wrong answer here. I just wanna know what's your idea? Why did you decide to put it in that order? That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, well, let me let me start. Let me start with our theme. Uh, we hold on, hold on, because I just want before we continue. I want to know: did all the did all the groups finish, or do you need more time? No, we didn't finish. We were missing. We need more time. Uh, uh -huh, we need more time. Okay. Uh, is this for all the groups? Yes, all we didn't finish. finish more time. Okay. All right, no problem. We need to organize the index again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the computer <laughs> got reset. <laughs> we lost the memory. Okay, so, so this is why it's important for me to know who you're working with. Okay, so Ana Claudia, mm -hmm. Luis, Irene, Javi, and Javi. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, though, you'll be group number one. In group number two, I have Juan Francisco, Jury, um, Irvin, Yes. Yes, we were, yes, we was working together. Okay. Um, Okay, so Juan Francisco, Jerry, Ir Irvin. That's it, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, in group number three, I have um, Andres, eh, Jose, Jose Montes, and Warner, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. And next group, I have um, Josue, um, Natalia, 
Fabiola, which is who's not here, and Ivan. All right. And in group number five, I'm just going to put the people that were not here yesterday, but you can still talk about it in the few minutes that we're going to have about it. So you don't have to do the whole thing, but maybe you can start with the what is the correct what is the correct order for you in your case on what is um, the order the, the order that we should put these um, topics. Okay, so. Um, Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you not too much time. Six minutes sounds good. Okay. Okay. Here we go then. Could you please assign me again? I have an issue with the, my cellular phone. Okay, um, the problem is that since you were already signed, I can't sign you again. So we're gonna have to do something. I'm going to send you an invitation, don't accept it. And then I'm gonna send a second one, okay? Okay, ahorita le dice que, que se mueva al grupo, no, pero no se vaya todavía. Dice que se mueve al grupo 5, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, Va. entonces lo voy a mover de vuelta. Creo que estaba en el grupo 3, ¿verdad? Con Warner estaba, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, entonces está en el grupo. Es que se me cayó el celular y cuando lo agarré, creo que allí rechazó. Ok, no problem. Um, ¿Le ha caído nuevamente la, la invitación al 3? ¿El grupo 3? Sí, sí. sí ahora sí. All right, go sí. for it. Gracias. Oh, Thank wow. you. No. In the, in the work, yeah, because, because not frequently in the work, I think, I think, prevention of accident and safety at the end, if you have a mind not to do more, yeah? Yes, uh, I I thought the same thing, okay. but if you, if you see, if you see, if you see, uh, for example, I remember an accident that is, really common at the restaurant even the even though when you don't finish to eat uh the the server take your food and put on the trash that is a accident really common on on the restaurant when when they clean that the, the the table and, and you lose your food even that you didn't finish maybe that kind of, that that is a yes. accident really common that i'll cure but we can say that it can be number 10 and let's go to find the other one can be requesting a chief change. Maybe that one can be the number nine. Okay, okay, good. I did, the, for, for example, we choose following the schedule, right? Mm -hmm. um, I did the next. I think following the discussion is an is an it, it is a session thing in a company to get to get all goals. Maybe this is the the first one. Yes. Or I don't know what are you. Uh, or what's your idea about this? Yes, because uh, we have to be functional. That's very important. So okay, and you, Warner? Uh, and me, uh, and um, 
I, I don't know this. Oh, after the kind, uh, the kind thing. Why? Uh huh. The kind thing. Why? I after I group that. I group by mm -hmm. section this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one is is the is the human resource or the personal. The, the last section related to the human resources uh, procedure is fourth or only four, the four. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yes, that's it. It's good. You guys finished? Yeah, yep. teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. I'll see you guys in a moment. Yeah. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. I don't know no, nothing about Adresa. numbers. I, I don't know. Te ponemos el cierre de oro. Ana Claudia, no, we need you. Tengo dos. Tips and taxes. Ya tengo dos. ¿Qué decís, Irene? Va, voy a agarrar yo el, el del 10, va. Tips and taxes, va. El del 10. Entonces, uno, recapitulemos. Uno, dos, Tres, Irene. Yes. Okay. Cua, yo, ay, espérate. El cuatro. Eh, and five, five and ten. Cuatro, cinco y diez lo agarro yo. Vale. Cuatro, mm -hmm. cinco y diez. Seis y siete. Me. Luis. Yeah. Ocho, nueve, Javi. Y yo se yes. lo poner aquí 10. Pues pensemos las razones cada quien ahí en su uh -huh. en las que por qué lo hemos escogido y para todos vamos a dar razones sí que por qué? porque es del la razón es eh, por el orden que lo pusimos verdad sí pero por qué ajá porque qué pensamos en español Short. Short, I think. Exactly what I was going to say. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> I didn't notice you were there. <laughs> yes, yeah. we noticed, but. I noticed yeah. you hadn't noticed. <laughs> okay. At this time, I was able to be very uh, sneaky. Sneaky, what is that word? Sneaky, you've never huh? heard of sneaky? Mm -mm. No. Oh. Hmm. Never heard about. Never heard of the word sneaky. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm um, actually not going to tell you. I'm going to sh I'm going to write it in the chat, and you look the word up. Wow, sneaky. sneaky like a what snake. What is the meaning? Yes, it. I mean, uh, okay. it doesn't come from that word. It doesn't come uh -huh. from what you say. What word? Like a snake that is a very. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's not, it, it's not, doesn't come from that word, but, um, but yes, a snake can be sneaky. Uh -huh. I was uh, relating this word with sneakers. I thought something like that. <laughs> no, sneaker. sneaky is like when you say like, um, like escudridizo. Escurridizo. Escurridizo. Okay. Ni de la palabra en español me acuerdo. O sigiloso. <risa> sigiloso. Sigiloso. Ese era lo que buscaba. Sí, no. Chiva esa palabra. Sneaky. 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 Recording in progress, I was yeah. not going to be able to be sneaky, but I or or I wasn't going to um, be able to be sigilosa, but I guess I can be. <laughs> we're so talking deep in yeah, distributing. You guys were very concentrated. Good for you. Okay. okay. All right. So I'll see you guys in a moment in the main. Okay. Room. Okay.
It sounds oh. weird. Well, I finished. We finished. We finished, teacher. <laughs> really? You already finished? Yeah. We, we remember that I finished. We are time. very quick. I'm impressed. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. No, quiso. <laughs> but I think that we finished the, the index. Do you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. We have a question about uh, uh, a sentence. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm getting to know the management drink. <coughs> What was the, the following this uh, following the schedule? I would like to know what is the what is the proposal of this this following the schedule at the restaurant? Schedule. 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 Maybe I can I'm going to say in England, schedule. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. All right, are you guys what ready? I'm sorry, what is the pronunciation, teacher? Schedule. Schedule. Yes, in American English. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Schedule. Schedule. I forget. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we want to know what is the mean of a following the schedule. Schedule. OK, following the schedule means um, that you are doing things like you should be at the at the time that you're supposed to do. Mm, follow the plan. Yeah, but specifically the time, the plan of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I know. Okay. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. See you in the main room in a moment. Okay. I don't know. Teacher. Hello, Miss Jessica. <laughs> Hello. The other group, the other group doesn't finish yet. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm I was gonna tell you that we were just waiting for them, but I think everybody's ready. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, see you, Miss. <laughs> All right. Ivan is saying Okay, guys, very good. Okay, so I think everybody um, should be ready. So we're gonna start with um, the first group, Ana Claudia, Javi, Irene, and Luis. Good evening, classmates. We're going to, to talk about our index. We ordered our, our topics first, talking about the person and next talking about a uh, general topics. First, our first topic is the skull because we think this topic is so important to have an excellent service, have an excellent presentation is important for the, for the client, right? If you look well, is very important for 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 give an excellent service. Next, following the, the schedule is our second topic. We think our group team this topic is important to be responsible for our schedule for the client because in this way you can give an excellent service too. Next topic is requesting a chief change. Is an, a good procedure for the employees because it's for their own wellness. 
And it's so important they know different procedures of the company. That's all, next. That's right, thank you. Uh, as the number four, uh, we think should be the prevention of accidents accidents and safety because the servers must understand the importance of how to handle, uh, for example, the cleaning the room uh, when there are wet uh, floors, uh, there will be accidents. Uh, also how to manage uh, the usage of the knives, 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 ay, como se dicen cuchillos, en plural. <laughs> Knife. 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 Con B o con F. Knife. Knife. Knives. Okay. So the usage of knives and any other uh, instrument that shows as a normal to use on a daily basis, but could be a, a weapon in case they are not, thank you, they are not uh, handled in the correct way. As a number five, also it's important the step to getting to know the menu. Because remember, the customers or clients, uh, the first will be asking for the menu or how the food tastes or how the food looks is uh, to the servers. So we think it's important they must understand and taste and they. Mm, need to know by heart the many. Those are four and five. The six. Okay. Now is my turn. Uh, setting a table, we thought is uh, very important uh, to know how to setting a table because it's part of the uh, decoration. Uh, um, it uh, makes a good atmosphere for the clients or customers. Um, the, the next is the counting wines uh, for the employees. It's important uh, to know the uh, way or the methods to uh, serve uh, every kind of uh, drinks for the um, cold drinks or hot uh, drinks, how the different ways to serve. And the next is um, habit. Turn. Okay, um, addressing kitchen personnel or managers need to lead um, with the kitchen personnel and deal with every every situation in that in that department. Uh, the number nine, addressing customer or personnel to know the way to serve and be kind to the customer and. Um, for create a great experience for the customers. And uh, the last one we uh, left in the, as a number 10, uh, the topic about tips and tax because the servers, uh, they need to learn also how to uh, thanks a customer for tips. And also if the customer has inquiries or concerns related to tax, uh, they uh, must know how to address those uh, inquiries. That is our index teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, bravo, very good job. Group number one, excellent, excellent work. Okay, um, how do you spell, how do you pronounce this word? The county. County. Yeah, I really have it. <laughs> okay, so this is actually going to like like many words is going to depend on where you're from. If you're from a, if from the United States, you're going to pronounce it one way, and if you're from the United Kingdom, you're going to pronounce it another way. So I'm actually going to share. This is the American pronunciation. Decanting. Sorry, no. Decanting. That's the American. Did you hear that? Decanting. This is the American. Decanting. Oh, yeah. Canting. Like decanting. 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 
decanting. But can, decanting, can, can. Now listen to the British one. It's not going to be decanting. Listen to what it says. Decanting. Oh. Decanting. Se oye la T. Con, con. Not can, con, decanting. Okay, I'll put it again. Decanting. Decanting. Can, can, canting. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Canting. Okay. Oh, right. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, good. All right, very good. Let's go now to group number two, which is, who is it? Um, group number two is Irving, Juan Francisco, and Jerry. Okay, teacher, we are going to, we organize and uh, the these activities and and this this in this, this way and the first one is for us is dress code because uh, it's part of the role of the company of the employees it's important the pres the presentation of the area yeah, a area of the work and the second one is getting to know the menu that activity for us was is considered really important. Sometimes when you go to the restaurant, you ask for a dish, and the, the server that doesn't know doesn't know what what they have at the menu, and that is time they, they are going to lose with the client. And then is is time that you are going to consider in this activity. And the other one is addressing customer that is really important because that can lose clients because if they receive a, a bad, bad, bad trato, how do you say trato teacher? Yeah. Dreaming. Dreaming. Uh, but dreaming, they, they don't return at that restaurant maybe. And the number four for us is following the schedule, schedule. Uh, why that is important is maybe the time uh, the when they the servers organize the time they are going to get better results on their restaurant too and other comp other class may are going they are going to continue with the next topics Who's part of the rest of the group? Josue or Irving? Oh. Irving. Irving or Josue, oh, Juan, Juan Francisco, but I'm sorry. Josue or Juan Francisco or Erwin. Class, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, probably, uh, I think Urban is still having a little bit of problems with the, his internet connection. So we'll have to have Juan Francisco continue. Okay, I'm going to, to read the other parts and maybe Juan Francisco can read the last one. Uh, the number four, five, number five four. setting, number is five setting the table. Uh, setting the table is is in this time for example the pandemic time is that is activity is really important sometimes you are going to feel confident when uh, or you are going to feel safe uh, when you are eating uh, at the table that is really clean or good presentation and the number six the counting wine and that activity is, is uh, I, I, I don't understand exactly what is what it is, but um, you don't understand the canteen wine. Uh, a little bit, I because you told us that is the process to to put the drinking 
on the cup or a little cups or something like that. Okay, so you're going to pass the liquid from one container to another container. Okay. Uh -huh. So to do that, you're going to pour the liquid from this container to this container. But you don't just do this. It's not like that. It's more like little by little, you start pouring so that the sediment does not it, or is not disturbed. Oh, okay. okay. Got it? Yes, yes, okay. it is. It's okay. Okay. I great. understand it. Okay. Uh, the other one, the number seven is going to be is um, addressing kitchen personal. That is because we consider that it's important to, to weigh that the servers uh, dressing with the person that work in the kitchen. And because uh, they can be polite and they can be, they can, they, they need to say in the correct way, the order that the client need. And now my classmate Juan is going to be, he is going to continue with the index. Maybe seven? It's seven. Uh, number no, eight. I, eight. Problem, eight. Number eight. I have a problem. I have a problem with internet. I can have a problem. No, it's okay. It's can you, can you do it or or do you prefer your classmates to do it? Urban, do you want to do it yourself or do you prefer the classmates to do it? I can't move. I can't okay. No worries. Internet. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, then continue. Okay. Uh, number eight uh, about kids and taxes uh, is important now because uh, the the culture and virus uh, sure now uh, because uh, for for about about incident and in for that. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that part? And cobrar. Ah, oh. cobrar. Mm -hmm. it, uh, to charge for the money? But, charge for the money. Charge for the money. Charge. Charge for the money. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they, they, it's not more shy in the morning. Sorry. Charge. Uh, charge. Mm -hmm. Charge. Okay. Um, in the last uh, number 10, it's a uh, prevention, prevention of accident and safety. It's very important uh, because uh, for pre uh, about accident and they now about the first site um, for someone accident in the restaurant. <laughs> Okay, very good. Bravo, guys. Bravo. Let me give you one of these. Okay, excellent. All right, group number three would be Andres, Jose Rosa Montes, and Warner. Guys? 
Andres Jose Montes Warner. Okay. Um, the index in the first place, it is, I think the following the schedule is an essential thing in a company to get all goals. And as a second part of the index, it, it can be dress code. Um, and the two employees are the company's image dress code. And the third is prevent of accident and safety. I think prevention of accident and safety, it is something very, very important for all employees, integrity. And the fourth, it is uh, getting to know the menu. Chef and wait waiters must get to know the menu in order to provide a good customer service. The fifth, it is addressing kitchen personnel. The chef has to address the kitchen personnel to avoid any issue between employees. The sixth, it is um, addressing customers. I think Addressing customer is very important to get a good customer experience. And this number seven, setting a table. Because setting a, a beautiful table, it is essential to customer, will have a good, good impression of the company. And the number eight, it is um, requesting a chief change. Uh, for example, our employees uh, can request a chief change in an emergency, in an emergency. And the nine is waiter must know how to decate wine in order to get a good tip. And the last one, general manager can explain to employees about tips and taxes, rules and policies. Okay, very good. Did you cover all of them? Yes, the 10th. Okay, yeah, all right, good. Bravo, excellent, very, very good. Give you one of these. Okay, and the last group is, oh, no, no, we have two more. Um, Ivan, Josue, and Natalia, group number four. No, uh, we present the index that we work with Josue and, and Ivan. I don't know if it's Josue. Yeah, teacher, can I um, share my screen? Screen, yeah, go screen. ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't. Sorry, it's because hey, I'm another to, participant yeah. is sharing. Uh, yeah, it's because I'm sharing. Hold on, give me a moment. I'm going to yeah. stop sharing. Okay, you should be able to share now. Okay. And that's it. Okay, for the time, we do it faster, teacher. Um, we part in two, in, in two, or, the index we part in two sections, the operation and the human resource. So we think that the first is the operation. Um, the addressing customer is very important to address the customers because it's the first step to, to, to the service, to the client service. Uh, the second one is addressing kitchen personnel. When you you have a, a correct person of the kitchen and they know all the operation of the kitchen, uh, will do the restaurants offer a excellent service. Then the set it, the sitting a table, sitting a table is another step for the operation of the restaurant and getting to know the menu um, is another step that that is very important that the waiter knows the menu because he, the, if he doesn't, the menu is a bad service. The canteen wine, the canteen wine is like uh, in some many restaurants, not all the restaurants, 
have the Karim wine, but the exclusive or five-star restaurant have this, this kind of ritual. For me, it's a ritual because they have to know how to manage the wine. And the other exception of the operation is about tips and taxes. Tips and taxes is like um, some restaurant have for the, the kind of or the type of service that they offer have some uh, different kind of tips. Uh, you can uh, give the tips uh, separate of the receipt or in the receipt of the restaurants because it, in some restaurants as many like uh, uh, I don't know how do you say obligation obligation no yeah it's an obligation <laughs> in some restaurants maybe it's an obligation give a tips to the person but in another one no so it depends it's I don't mandatory. know uh, you can also hmm? say mandatory mandatory Mandatory, mandatory. Yeah. And I don't know, Josue and Ivan, you talk about the human resource that the other section that we choose. Well, Ivan, you can do it. Oh, oh thanks, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, and, and how Natalia said, we divide the index in. in in two sections, and this the second section is about the human resource. Um, we put uh, prevention of accidents and safety. Uh, the first place, the section because the it's very important that the staff know how prevent accident and and keep the safety of customer and themselves. And then the dress code is very important. The look that the person of the restaurant show to the customer is always be good. And then um, following the, the, the schedule, it's very important to follow the order of the, the organization. And, and the last requesting a uh, shift chain. And uh, the person of the restaurant must be know the procedure they have to follow to requesting a, a shift chain. Uh, and this way the, the restaurant is always functional and and that's all. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ivan, Ivan what, what was the last word that you mentioned? Um, requesting, requesting. Uh, the last word that you mentioned right now. Requesting a, a shift change. Remember me, please. Functionally. Functioning. Oh, sorry. Functioning. Mm -hmm. Fun okay. Functioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how do we pronounce this word? Safely. Safety. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Okay. All right. Bravo, guys. Excellent. Thank you very much. You deserve one of these, okay? And the last group I have here is, um, let's see, let's see, Heidi and Yvonne. 